I don't know why, but it seems like the Kings don't like Buddy Hill for some reason. In the bubble, he only played 21 minutes per game. That makes no sense to me. How are you trying to make the playoffs and you're playing one of your best players 21 minutes? Buddy is playing pretty good in those minutes too. He averaged 14 points, 3 boards and 2 assists, shooting 42% from the field and 38% from 3. Luke Walton benching him isn't even a surprise to me anymore now. He's been low-key doing this all season. Score 29 points and if he makes one, the game's over. It's been a heck of a game for the uh, Sacramento Kings. The elites, as we said, we know we can make those shots. He has. But that just was short. After that last game, when he was asked about how he feels about his role of them in the future, this is what he had to say. Um, I just wonder how you view going into next season with the Kings um, and how you feel about, you know, the role, whether it's something you can be content with moving forward. Y'all know me. Y'all know how I talk. Y'all know how I feel. A lot of stuff. Y'all can read me well, so I'll let y'all answer that for yourselves. As you can see, he doesn't sound too happy about it, which I can understand because I want to be too. Last season, he played really good, averaging nearly 21 points, 5 rebounds, and 2.5 and assists, shooting 45% from the field and 42% from three. So I know he came into this season looking to do better. He's still playing good, but his production went down because he's playing less minutes. This season, he's averaging 19 points, four rebounds and three assists, shooting 43% from the field and 39% from three. He also made NBA history by breaking Steph Curry's record for the fastest to reach 800 made threes. It took him 296 games to make 800 threes, the previous record was 305 games. He also beat Damian Lillard's record for the most three-pointers made in a player's first four seasons. Dame made 828, and he made 873. So I don't know what's making them want to play him less. I know they've been losing, but clearly he's not the problem. Then people have the nerve to criticize him for telling the media how he feels. I'm a common fan. I like to be on the court. That's why I'm on the court, right? I want, I want to make plays, make shots. Like it wasn't, I wasn't trusted for the past two games to be in the court. So, as a player, like no matter what, I feel it's my job to go there and compete at a high level. And uh, guys know if I'm struggling or not, still got to ride the wave. He ended up apologizing after he said this, but I don't think he should have. He was just expressing how he feels, and it sounded like facts to me. If you're one of the best players on a team, you should be in the game at the end. But Bogdan Bogdanovich been playing really good since Buddy Hill has been getting less minutes. In Orlando, he averaged 19 points, almost 5 assists and 4.5 and boards, shooting 47% from the field, 44% from 3, and 90% from the line. Since he's playing this good, it's looking like he's going to be starting for them in the future. And I know Buddy Hill ain't trying to come off the bench. Because of all this, I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up asking for a trade. If I was him, I would do that because he's way too good to be getting treated like this. If he could end up on a team like the 76ers, that would be fire. They need a guy like him on their team. But what do y'all think? Should Buddy Hill ask the Kings to trade him? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.